I'm Johnny. And it's time to talk to the parents about children. One of the main driving forces behind my decisions, my beliefs, and even my ideology is that I want to make the world a better place for my daughter. I want her to grow up in a world that is demonstrably better than the world that I grew up in. And in a lot of ways, it's already happening. So this week's video is going to be kind of about that, but it's also going to be kind of about how to parent. Now this gets really weird because parents get weirded out when other parents try to tell them how to parent. And rightfully so, because each kid is its own special challenge, right? And there's a lot of weird judgmentally stuff in there. Really, I just want to offer a few suggestions that comes from a place of let's make the world better in hopes we can become better people as parents, make better children, which in turn makes the world better. And one of the biggest lessons that I learned when you create a child, you're creating more than just a child. You're creating a human being. And it's important to treat your kids like they're people because they're people. Sometimes it's impossible just to reason with a three-year-old. You just have to go to timeout. Now me, I've got a 12 year old now. There's a lot of really strange societal screwed upness around teenage daughters. Like I'm supposed to be sitting on the porch with a shotgun. I made a promise to never joke about being that dad. Son, you better, you better not touch my little girl. Like that's so pathetic. It's so possessive. Like, yeah, I get it. Teenage boys have a single track mind, but the way to deal with that is not to be some threatening ogre. The way to deal with that is to give her the tools to be able to set her own boundaries, to have frank discussions with her about everything, to not fall into this pleasant little societal trap that is placed there for parents of girls, which seems to be there to mostly hold up this idea of purity for who exactly? It means letting go. And sometimes it's hard. You watch these little humans, they're lumps of goo. It's a wonder they can even blink. But then as the years go by, they become these beautiful people. And they make mistakes and they have problems, but they're people. As a kid becomes more and more of a teenager, it becomes harder and harder, but it becomes more and more important for us to let them go and build their own future. Isn't it better for them to figure out for themselves what that better world is? Now, don't tell my daughter this, but I'm totally making this up as I go along. This is my first time as parenting a teenager. What an interesting journey this will be, but it's not like I know what I'm doing. That's a piece of parenting advice I really want to give. It's okay to not know what you're doing sometimes. You're gonna screw up and that's okay. And when you screw up, it's okay to apologize to your kids. They're human, remember? Parenting is really screwed up because there's so much writing on it, but at the same time, there's so much pressure not to examine it. Like both from within, dealing with your own unconscious biases and your cognitive dissonances, and so much pressure without, the pressure to conform to the parenting standard of the day. Does your kid get enough quinona? I think the best way to approach it is just with honest self-evaluation and to really listen to other people in how they parent, maybe there's something that can be learned there. And if you feel like dispensing advice, do so, but understand that just because a situation works for you, for your child and your family, it won't always apply. There's no one size fits all advice. And so, Harmony, happy 12th birthday. And remember kids, parenting is fun. Except for you, Harmony, you have to wait until you're ready.